Hello there, my name is Ismaus and uh, today I want to show you how to make a realistic glass in Blender 2.8 uh, using Blender EV renderer and uh, you can see that uh, that's what I'm using right now to render this and uh, if I move around you can see that uh, there is refractions and uh, reflections in this glass. Uh, yes, so let's see how we can make that in Blender 2.8. So I'll just open up a new Blender file here and uh, make a simple glass maybe let me start with a plane, radius 90 degrees, 50. So the, this is not a tutorial for modeling glass. It's just, uh, a f it's just to make a shader, a realistic shader. So let's just make a simple glass here. Then you can use the spin tool, spin this 360, uh, 360, then remove doubles, and uh, we have our glass. Let's make sure it doesn't have issues. Uh, if you, by the way, if you see this happening, let's turn on small shading. If you see this happening, I just uh, select everything in edit mode then hold down shift and to recalculate the demos and uh, that will clear out uh, those and uh, so let's also give this uh, a body or thickness uh, so that uh, our glass have some thickness to it something like that yes so let's see how we can make this glass so we can go to shading to preview the materials and I like to to work in this uh, dev look uh, because it comes with a, a background image and HDRI environment uh, e image and uh, uh, you can also accept lights by clicking on the shading and then from the down, drop down list you can turn off the light turn on the lighting so that uh, they can affect your scene let me increase change this to area, area light and uh, increase uh, its size a bit maybe Add another one like that so basically this is what we have uh, so for glass uh, the first thing you're going to need is turn on the material and uh, give it a transmission of one uh, that will make sure that uh, the object is uh, the material is transparent and you can see that uh, we are getting some uh, transparent effect but uh, it's not really glass uh, so what you can do is go to the roughness and reduce the roughness so that it's clear glass uh, otherwise it's going to be rough like that but uh, still you, d you see that uh, it's not really convincing because it's only refracting uh, the environment but uh, not itself or uh, the objects in. So let's add maybe and use this sphere in here. Let's give it a material. Let's say uh, let's also small sh turn on small shading. Maybe make, let's make another, let's maybe just do this simulate some rigid bodies so that we have an interesting scene and uh, maybe instead of doing this let me just add an object object data here and uh, color ramp to randomize uh, the color of these objects so random connected to that change this to constant and uh, connect the color uh, to that uh, so that we randomize uh, the color of these objects and then we can change uh, the color directly here and uh, let's add more color variations here Uh, we can also add another car ramp color ramp again convert this to constant and uh, randomize let's preview this randomize uh, the metallic uh, so some of them are metallic and others are not so let's reduce the roughness 
So you can see some are metallic, some are not. And uh, just to make this interesting, uh, let's add uh, some materials, it's rigid body. I guess so this is going to be passive and uh, let's make these active. make them fall in here so that we have an interesting scene so if we play back uh, we need to change this from convex hull to mesh yeah so we have that and uh, let's go let's just bake everything to catch it so let's go and uh, where is that? Where is that? Rigid body world. No, catch it. Yeah, bake all dynamics. And we can subdivide this and uh, have this as our timeline. So yeah, around there. Now you can see that uh, we don't see anything through this. Uh, so so to make this uh, look through, uh, we need to first uh, change under the render settings. Uh, you can turn on screen space reflections. Uh, I found that uh, sometimes Blender crashes if you turn these settings on while in uh, any of these render view or uh, loop this. So uh, you can go to, to this view here and then turn on these effects. And then under screen space reflections, you have refraction here. If you turn that on, see we don't we still don't see a lot here uh, so we need to, and you can see when we turned on spin screen sp uh, space reflections you can see we got some reflections there um what we want is uh after turning on sp screen space reflections you can select the object and uh, make sure you have the material selected that you want to change that is the reflective material selected and uh, then let me save uh, because blender usually crashes at this point if you try turning on some of these settings directly here so if we turn on if we change the blending mode uh, to additive you can see we can see through uh, uh, the glass now uh, but uh, the glass doesn't look looks more plastic than glass uh, so let's change this to alpha blend you can see uh, we, s we see the objects but we don't see the color so to, to have to see the color, you need to turn on screen space. Let me save again, screen, screen space reflections. And you can see now our glass looks even better. So from there, uh, uh, you can see that uh, there is a lot of roughness. You can see how this ball is, uh, the reflection of this ball here is not really sharp. Uh, that you can just go under uh, our screen space reflections and play around uh, with some of, some of these settings here until you get better reflections. So play around and uh, but uh, you may get artifacts. So just play around until you get something that looks good enough. I think that is not too bad. And uh, another thing you can add is uh, a reflection cube. Uh, this will bake uh, the reflection of all objects around into a reflection map uh, that will be used as the reflection. Uh, sphere uh, for these objects. Uh, so let's look at this in uh, in uh, rendered mode. Uh, you can see that uh, the refraction is too big uh, for some of these objects. For some of these reflections, you can see if you look at this uh, this here. Let me try to add a background image here so that we get the same lighting as we had before. 
Blinks, blinks, as you see. You see, uh, the reflection for this ball here is too big through this uh, through this glass. So to fix that, you just select the object. Also make sure you have the material selected. And uh, under refraction depth, uh, play around with the refraction size until you get uh, the right uh, reflection. But uh, you can also bake first bake uh, the refraction so under uh, indirect lighting hit back uh, to bake the refraction i think they have already been baked now we can sorry the reflections and now we can play now with the reflection depth of the you see how that is smaller now so let's try 0 0.1 you can see now it's a good size So we just need a few objects uh, for this uh, to reflect. And uh, if we had, say, uh, let's just duplicate. Let me select, every, deselect everything there. If I duplicated this a few times, oh, okay. If since this is a, ref uh, a simulation, uh, the, these are going to snap around, but uh, that's okay. So let's bake uh, this again, bake the reflections again, uh, so that this ref this object appears in the reflection of this object here. So let's bake again. I think it's done. Yeah, if you look closely, you see that uh, this glass is also getting reflected there. So, yeah. And uh, if we had this enclosed in uh, some in a place like this and uh, turned on, let me first unhide everything. And uh, also added a light irradiance volume. Baked that as well. too bright in here so we can make this a bit darker maybe yes yeah, so that's how you make refractive glass in blender 2.8 using the uh, rendering with a blender EV uh, uh, if you found this useful, uh, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.